on page 327, it makes a good point about how we treat our dead being kind of a mark of civilization. So he says, uh, the meeting between ignorance and knowledge, between brutality and culture, it begins in, in the dignity with which we treat our dead. So I thought that was important. I'm not quite sure. It's something that I'm thinking about. It's not something I don't I have a solid answer on, but it seems to me it's about respecting what they did and what we are now supposed to do. It kind of remembers and honors the accomplishments of those that came before us, right? And kind of in order to uh, further their, further the um, the good that they have done and for us to be kind of a part of that, that we keep that burning, that we keep that going, that desire to do, uh, to make progress and to do productive things. And so how we treat our dead is a way of how we, almost in a in a sense of how we are maintaining that mindset. If we were just to throw our dead in a mass grave, it's almost in a sense that we're trying to, to destroy history. Or, and certainly, maybe this is it, to destroy our obligations towards the past, right? But if we if we put our dead in a place of public, um, like in an open area where we see them, like in in uh, like graveyards and things like that, that aren't just on the outskirts of the city, but perhaps are in the middle of the city, then in a sense, consider even like the World War II Flanders Fields kind of stuff where we have graves with white crosses, and then we won't forget the past. And in not forgetting the past, hopefully it raises the chances of us um, not making mistakes of the past, right? 